defense calls Irene Hoffman of Alna to the stand. Mrs. Wong, you are still under oath. Mrs. Wallner, did you come here voluntarily? Did you report voluntarily to speak as a witness? Yes. Is it not true that the prosecution asked you to come here? That it was very disagreeable for you to come here? It is always very disagreeable to live over those times. That would be in agreement with the information I have that you did not want to come. Thank you, Mrs. Wallner. Mrs. Wallner, the Nuremberg Laws were stated September 15, 1935. Where were you at that time? In Nuremberg. Did you know these laws? Were you aware that a physical relationship with Jews was against the law? Yes. Were you aware that in Nuremberg, and in Nuremberg in particular, not only a physical relationship with Jews was viewed with disdain, but every social contact? Yes. Were you aware that it might have some danger for you, personally? Yes, I was aware of it. But how can you discard a friendship from day to day because of some... That is another question, Miss Walner. I did not ask you that question. Were you aware of it? Yes, I was aware. And yet you still continued to see each other? Yes. Remember, it was brought out at the tribunal that Mr. Feldstein bought you things. Candy and cigarettes. Yes. Remember that sometimes he bought you flowers? Yes, he bought me many things. That was because he was kind. He was the kindest man I ever knew. Do you know the witness, Mrs. Elsa Lindt, now? Yes, I know her. Was she a cleaning woman at the apartment you lived in? Yes. Did Mr. Feldstein come to see you at your apartment? Yes. How many times? I don't uh, remember. Several times? Yes. Many times? Many times. Did you kiss him? Yes, I kissed him. Was there more than one kiss? Yes. But it was not in the way you are trying to make it sound. He was like a father to me. He was more than a father. More than a father? Did you sit on his lap? Objection! Counsel is persecuting the witness in the pretext of gaining testimony. Objection overruled. The defense is being permitted to reenact what was a travesty of justice in the first place. Colonel Lawson. The tribunal makes the rulings in this case, not the prosecution. You may proceed. Did you sit on his lap? Yes. But there was nothing wrong or ugly about it. Did you sit on his lap? Yes, but... You sat on his lap! What else did you do? There was nothing that you were trying to say. There was nothing like that. What else did you do, Mrs. Walner? <laughs> What are you trying to do? Are you trying to... Why do you not let, let me speak the truth? That's what we want, Mrs. Walner. The truth, the truth. You admitted that you continued to see him. You admitted that he came to your apartment. You admitted you kissed him. You admitted you sat on his lap. What else do you admit to? What else? Nothing. There was nothing like you're trying to make it sound. What else? There was nothing. Nothing. Stop it! Stop it! What else do you admit to, Mrs. Walner? What else? Hello? Are we going to do this again? Your Honor. The stress the defendant has been under is so great that he is not aware. I am aware. I am aware. 
Your Honor, the defendant wishes to make a statement. Your Honor, I believe the defense has a right to request... Order. Order. Order! Does the defendant wish to make a statement? I wish to make a statement. Yes. Your Honor, I believe the defense has a right... Your Honor, the defendant has the right to make his statement now. I have to speak with my client. He has the right to make it now. <laughs> Tribunal is adjourned until 10.30 tomorrow morning.